Hola, buenos días. Es Nico. <risa> So today, ignore my waist trainer, ignore the belt. I had to move around my room because I'm gonna get a ceiling fan installed along with new lights. And <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to like have my shit kind of tidied up. It's not really that tidy. I didn't really move shit. I just got all the stuff out of the way. My hamper is just in the corner as you can see. <laughs> but um, today we're here to talk about um, a quick conversation because I also have to leave to go downtown to go to the clinic to get my next prescription of prep um, is Grandy Glaze, I think that's his name. I think I think um, the straight guy, really fat ass. He's a giant. He's a he's, he's so fucking. Oh my god, he's hot. But 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 but. So he is one of the straight guys that goes to ride a flash man Wade. Um, as in he makes homosexually erotic content, but he says that he is straight. So, you know, when people do that, I accept it for face value because it's gay for pay, you know. Essentially, it's not gay baiting because they're very honest. They don't actually have sex with men. They just make their content and men buy it because they have fat asses. I can't really fault them on that. If my ass was that fat, I'd probably do the same shit. But <laughs> so essentially he's getting into um, some heat because on his recent YouTube video, because he's trying to promote his YouTube, because a lot of people are trying to branch out into these social media um these social media platforms that allow for revenue to run through it. So YouTube is one of those if you have a very marketable platform. I um, <laughs> I personally need to just get rid of my Janet Jackson opening. I understand it's iconic, but whatever. Janet Jackson is flagging my videos, baby. She says you're not gonna make any coins off a of throb. So all my videos, I don't actually get revenue from. I get my revenue from Patreon. So I'm gonna start slowly pushing that out i'm gonna go back and have to edit those um segments where it's been copyrighted out of the video because i need the money <laughs> i need the money i'm not sure if youtube is running ads on my shit but i'm sure they are and they're making all the money and i ain't getting zip so i'm about to go get my money by taking out these little clips <laughs> um so essentially he got into trouble because on his youtube he tried to get people to go there by saying i was gay for a day for my only fans and essentially he was like yeah, I was gay for a day by letting gay people photograph me in like gay positions. I'm like, that's not really, you know, that's it's it, it, it's pandering. And it's also that's gay baiting. That's like the difference between Flashman Wade. I've always had this conversation because so many people hate Flashman Wade because he will not get fucked on camera. But the thing is, <laughs> that's that's essentially what it boils down to. Like they're mad that he won't actually get fucked on camera. So it boils down to Flashman Wade always says that he is straight. He never said that he was gay. People allude to him being bisexual and or gay, but he's never publicly stated that to get revenue from the gay community. So that's why I say he is making content that is being bought by gay people. And Grandy, we're gonna we're gonna call him Grandy. I don't know his real name. Grandy is the he was the same until he started pushing the envelope with, well, I was gay. I might be bi like that kind of thing. Like if you make a title going, I was gay for a day. First of all, being gay, a sexuality is not a costume that you put on. Like this, I I understand people say your sexuality isn't who you are, but your sexuality definitely shapes the way you navigate through life, especially in homophobic environments. So putting that on like a costume and try to get views onto your YouTube video is a bit tacky. Girl, all you have to do is shake your ass. And I understand, <laughs> I understand that might sound derogatory, but he, he ha he's an OnlyFans content creator with a fat ass. All he really has to do is jump up and down and shake his ass and gay men will follow. Like you did not have to go through the hoops and the, the rings of trying to come out as, oh, well, I was gay for a day, so click on this video to find out what I got into. Girl, all you really had to do was shake your ass. If I'm being honest, like his ass is fat. I'm not understanding why all these straight men keep having fat asses because you know he's a giant. And most tall people don't have ass. That's my weakness. <laughs> I had to actively work to get an ass. And he's a giant, muscular, slim, like a muscular, slim giant with a fat ass. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. My friends and I always talk about it because they always go look at this guy and I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Why is his ass so fat? It does. Point is, <laughs> point <laughs> me going into fucking, um, what is that movie called? Ass Inception, Asception. But no, um, essentially what he did is gay baiting. That is gay baiting. The difference between him and Flashman Wade is that he actively 
put it out there that it might be a possibility with this title. So what are your opinions? Um, people are rightfully being upset because they're like, you're trying to use it as a costume so that you can get visibility on your YouTube channel. And it's not really, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. But how do you feel? Because I mean, he did partner with Malik. I don't know. I don't know the guy's rest of his name. I, I think I talked about him briefly in my Patreon video about him turning out that other straight guy. Basically, Malik partners with popular straight men on Twitter and he convinces them to masturbate together. He convinces them to let him suck them off. Um, and then they eventually have sex. So, I mean, obviously, if the straight man, quote unquote, is having sex with Malik, he's not necessarily straight. At most, he's bisexual. But, you know, straight men hold on to their sexuality and the title of heterosexuality for dominance and or place in society. So, I mean, it's, it's all semantics at that point. It's mostly just he's partnering with Glaze or what? I don't like, what, where do people come up with these names? Gl Glandy, Gl <laughs> Grandy, I don't know. He's partnering up with Grandy and um, some other straight quote, air quotation marks, um, OnlyFans content creators and Flashman Wade. And they did a big nude photo shoot where they were showing booty and dick or whatever. And my thing is Flashman Wade, when it came to the shower shit where they were all getting together and masturbating and sucking each other off, he was out. <laughs> Grandy was out as soon as that came out. Malik uh, was still in the shower with two other dudes who I'm assuming are openly bisexual. I don't know. One of them DM me before for like promotion or some shit. Like, let's do shout out for shout out. So I'm assuming that he's bisexual. So it's like, it, it's just, it's very, it's very, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Like, like I said, sexuality is a spectrum. So I expect these kind of things to be a bit blurry, but. Grandy is definitely playing on the title of quote unquote gay for pay and or gay to get more views. But yeah, what are your opinions on the situation? How do you feel about him saying I was gay for a day to get more views on this YouTube video? Are y'all gonna let it slide? Cause he has fat ass. <laughs> let's let's call a spade a spade. Are y'all gonna let it fly? Cause he has a fat ass because y'all was upset that Flashman Wade wasn't getting rammed three ways from Sunday on video and he ain't even do shit. Are y'all gonna hold him accountable? Cause the man, I mean, his ass is just as fat as flash your weight, if not better. It's, 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 it's sickening. It's sickening. So yeah. Tell me your opinions. Drop the opinions down. Y'all know, do shit. Drop the opinions down below. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I gotta go. <laughs> um, follow me on Patreon if you like more content like this. Um, if you like video games, follow me on Twitch. I'll be twitching two to three times a week now. Um, Wednesdays and Fridays are scheduled days. Sometimes there's days in between. Follow me on Twitter if you want some humor and or um, social justice. Follow me on Instagram if you want some thirst traps because you know, juicy, juicy, that, that kind of thing, bad bitch things. Yeah, but yeah, see you guys later. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.